Awesome, so um, what I want to do today is I want to share with you guys a really neat and pretty awesome strategy and trick, okay, um, to warm up your cold leads, okay, people who have come from Facebook PPC maybe, or from, you know, YouTube PPC or solo ads or whatever form of marketing where you have actually generated lead. I want to show you how you can warm those leads up by connecting with them on Facebook. Okay? It's a really, really easy and very simple little neat trick to do that you can start doing, absolutely start doing today. It's, it's, you can do it in the next 10 minutes if you want. Okay, so um, like I said, it really doesn't matter where you've generated these leads from, okay? Um, the only condition is that you must have either a phone number um, or a email address, okay? And that's it, that's the two things you need to be able to do this on Facebook. Um, and the reason we're using Facebook okay, to warm your leads up is because basically Facebook is an open book, right? People come on Facebook, they see you, they see pictures of your family, um, they just can relate to you. I mean, if you've got a proper profile set up, set up in a proper way, uh, which should basically be about you, you're advertising yourself, you're showing people who you are, why they would want to work with you. Um, you know, if you're a leader, you're posting pictures of events you've been to, um, you're interacting, you've got good engagement on your profile, all these different, different things uh, will basically warm a lead up to you. They'll warm up people to you, um, kind of like a, like a magnet, I guess. You know, you'll be more attractive to other people coming to your profile. So that is why we're using Facebook and that is why Facebook is so, so powerful. Um, and this strategy is going to absolutely kill it for you if you do this um, and you do it consistently, okay? So, uh, let me just get started right into this, okay? Because I don't want to make this video too long. I want to keep it short, sweet, and simple that you can go ahead, you can implement it, and you can get some amazing, amazing results, right, guys? Um, so, this is the actual status I posted about this, okay? So, um, for everybody who's commented, liked on this, and and generally engaged on this status you know i appreciate you thank you very much for doing that and i really wanted to share this with you because I, I knew the amount of value this has to it um and how much it can help you guys out okay so anyway right let's let's get right into this okay this now you, you may know this you may not know this okay facebook actually stores your email address it also also stores your phone number okay and they're normally located in your about section so let me just show you quickly my about section right and you should have my phone number there you go so i got my phone number there and you've got my email address here okay uh, and this is how you're going to leverage facebook to find people who have opted into your different lists you know opted into uh, one of your pages maybe you know um, so this is how you're going to find them now facebook has this you know huge database of all the people okay god knows how many billion people there are on facebook now but uh, pretty much uh, the majority of them will have a phone number on there or an email on there now um, if those people have got a phone number and email, you can basically go ahead in Facebook and actually search these people up. So I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? Uh, let me get back to Facebook here, okay? Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use, uh, I'm going to use MLSP, okay, because I've got a huge list of leads in there already. Um, and I'm going to give you an example, right, of how this actually works. So let me just log into my system pro just quickly and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you some of my leads just quickly, okay, to give you kind of an idea. Okay, this is my leads list, okay, as you can see, it's kind of goes on and on and on. It's huge, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab a you know, random person. Uh, let's see. Let's just grab, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't, let's grab this email here, okay? Um, and I'm sure Nazia won't mind me using this, okay? Um, but I'm going to show you how I can find a person just with the email address. So obviously I've got a list of emails, right? You know, you, you normally would have that if you are doing some lead generation of some kind, right? So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab that email address. You want to copy, you know, right click, copy, or you can control C and copy. Head over to your Facebook search bar here, okay? And just pop that email address in there. When you do that, that person will appear up here in Facebook. So all you have to do now is go ahead, click that name, check out that person's profile, okay, and you know, send them a message maybe, or send them a friend request, and get that you know relationship building stage going, right? Don't forget, this is not about pitching somebody or trying to sell something to somebody, okay? This is about you making that first connection first, 
um, and starting to build that relationship. What you're doing here is you're building your audience, then your next job is to interact with that audience, and the next job is to build a relationship with that audience, okay? Um, and you've heard me talking about this, it's called the A formula, A-I-R, okay? Audience, interaction, and relationships, very important. Um, and that's what you want to do and, and obviously when you're connecting with these people okay um, you're building a relationship with them they see your profile okay they are exposed to you as a leader if you are doing the right kind of things uh, and by the way since I'm using uh, Nazia's profile I want to give her a shout out uh, because she's absolutely killing it in her business right now um, so you know huge shout out to you Nazia and I really hope you don't mind me using this example just quickly just to give an example and show people how you can leverage Facebook uh, to find you know hot laser targeted leads and prospects who maybe want to work with you in the future okay so that's just one quick example okay let me just uh, and by the way you probably noticed okay that Nazia is my friend already um, so you know that now right uh, this does not mean it works for just friends it works for people who are even not my friends okay so let me just grab somebody uh, just quickly randomly okay who maybe he's not my friend I don't know uh, let's try that is my friend I know who these people are. I actually know who a lot of these people are on my list okay because I've got a relationship with these people already right so let me just try um, a couple of random ones just quickly just to give this a shot okay Amy Thomas um, we are already friends uh, let's try Rebecca over here okay um, okay there we go example right um, as you can see we are now friends so this gives me the perfect opportunity right now to go ahead and send maybe Rebecca a message um, and just connect with her you know it doesn't have to be anything to do with business um, obviously when I have looked at the profile you want to see what Rebecca is all about and you know who she is what kind of friends she's got obviously we can see okay she's got a good friend of mine in common Diane Hockman okay who's a very good friend of mine but you can see she's only got three mutual friends so it's not necessarily okay that she is you know into network marketing or um, a home business of any kind right so you want to look into these different different things before um, you start sending requests or start sending messages you want to narrow it down um, to really really good and be 100 percent sure that the people you're connecting with are the right target market and the right kind of quality okay um, and then all you want to do is send a message and say hey there you know i come across your profile or something something like along the lines of that I'll just top of my head okay um, and uh, you know I'd love to connect with you would you mind me sending a friend request something like that okay uh, keeping it simple and down to the point obviously you want to be unique so don't just copy and paste what I just said um, that's just from top of my head I, I take a bit of time to think about what I want to say to people when I do this okay um, so that's just a quick example okay you can you, you don't have to necessarily even use MLSP you can use your um, Aweber list if you want so let me just uh, open up Aweber and show you exactly the same example okay um, but the point being, um, you want to use an email address. That's it. Simple as that. And hope Rebecca doesn't mind me doing this. Oh, and by the way, guys, you may notice uh, I've got 344 unsubscribed. Okay, I've done that manually, so don't worry. Okay, um, it doesn't mean I've got a very bad list or anything, right, guys? Um, from time to time, I actually go ahead and I delete people myself. I unsubscribe them and I erase them from my list to keep my list of high quality. Okay. Because I've always said this, it's not about the quantity of people on your list. It's more about the kind of quality that you've got on your list, right? Because there's no point me having 344 people on my list um, who never open my emails, who never click my links, who don't take any value from my emails. So I give them about six to two months and I just erase them, okay? So that's why that number is there, just in case you're wondering, right? So um, what you want to do, okay, is you want to grab well, you know, one of your lists. It doesn't really matter which one. Let me just grab this one, for example, okay. You want to go to your subscribers if you're using um, Aweber. You want to look for, obviously, your you know, most recent one. So let's say in the last seven days or something, okay. Uh, actually, no, this I haven't been using this list a lot. But let's say the last 30 days, okay. Uh, and what I want to do is I want to grab, once again, you know, email addresses, any of these email addresses. So let me see, I just grab that one. You want to copy, you can right click and copy, go to your Facebook, paste it in there, and have a look for that person there. So, obviously, that person is there. Once again, exactly the same thing, rinse and repeat. Okay, uh, obviously, Osman is my friend already. Um, in fact, a lot of these people on this list are my friends, okay, because I've added them manually by asking them, okay. Uh, let me see if I can find one which, uh, yeah, this list probably, okay. 
and it's going to be people who I'm not connected with, right? So let me just try this. And I'm not even sure if a lot of these are even on Facebook, to be honest. Okay, there you go. Um, there's one person, oh, he's already my friend again. <laughs> Um, and by the way, a lot of these people will actually send you friend requests, not only going through your, um, you know, autoresponder or your you follow up, if you do that correctly, okay, and and you send, tell them to send you a friend request or connect with you off on Facebook or something like that, okay. Uh, let me just see if I can find somebody who I'm not friends with, just quickly. Um, you know, a lot of people may not be on Facebook as well, so it's just a matter of testing and trying and see see who is on Facebook who is not on Facebook and then going ahead and connecting now okay I've got a bit of success there that's Sharon Miller um, and obviously you know we're not friends okay I hope you don't mind me using her example again um, and what I want to do here is I want to look through the profile quickly see what Sharon's about and if I feel she's the right kind of person then once again I'm going to send her a message I'm going to ask her if you mind me sending her a friend request um, and you know Something along that kind of line. Really. I don't. I don't want to really go into the exact message because people do, you know, copy and paste the kind of messages that I say. And I don't want you to do that. But come up with something unique on your own, and then send them a message, um, and and that's how you do that, guys. Very very simple. Okay, it's a really neat trick that you can use on Facebook to generate the highest quality targeted leads who are going to be naturally attracted to you, especially if you're using Facebook correctly. You know, and you've got a whole lot of engagement. You've got an audience already on there. People are interacting with you. You've got that leadership kind of a role. People can see that clearly. Okay, you're very transparent. When you do this kind of thing, okay, and people can see these photos of you. You know, your lifestyle. You know, holiday with you, your daughter or so, stuff like this. Simple little things like this. Okay, um, not flashing words of cash like everybody else. You want to be different. When people come and they see your profile to be like that. They are just naturally attracted to you and they are going to accept your friend request they are going to um, start engaging with you they are going to talk to you just naturally it's going to happen okay um, you don't need to shove anything down anybody's throat you don't need to force them to do anything it's basically like they're coming to your facebook and they're opening a book and they're reading about you that's it you know instant instant rapport and instant relationship building and that is why this is so, so effective, my friend. Um, so you want to go ahead and you want to start implementing this. Now, I'm not saying, you know, if you got a thousand leads in a day, that you go ahead and you do this with a thousand people. I'm just checking that time on there um, just to make sure I don't go over the 20 minute mark because then I can upload this to Facebook because okay, Facebook's got a 20 minute limit or something. But anyway, I wanted to keep this quick. I want to keep it short and sweet that you can understand this and you can start actually implementing this and start getting your own results. So go ahead and do this, okay? It's really easy. You can do this day and night, 24 seven, very, very easy. Um, you, you don't have to go into you know, your thousands and thousands of leads and do this. Just find maybe five to 10 you know, highly targeted quality people and just start connecting with them and building relationship with them and you never know eventually okay it's sometime down the line maybe um, they may contact you and ask you that they want to work with you or they may ask you um, that you know i've been on your facebook i've been also on your email list and i've been seeing all the value you're providing all this information you're doing okay and i've been seeing that you've been promoting this certain product um that your team is having so much success with can you pop me over a link um, i would be interested in looking at that you know that would be the perfect, perfect lead and the perfect prospect who is interested in working with you without you pitching, nagging, chasing, or basically scaring them away. So there you go, my friend, okay? Just a quick short video. Hope you got a lot of value out of that. Um, go ahead, you know, share the knowledge. Uh, don't be afraid to hit that share button. Share it with your friends, okay? Uh, I really don't mind. You can absolutely do that. And the more you share, the better it is. In fact, if you want, you can... Um, take this video and kind of reproduce it yourself again um, in your own words in your own training and go and share that which will also attract more people to you and brand you as a leader okay so you have an awesome day that is my quick video for you my friend on this awesome awesome little neat trick um, and strategy in fact before i go um you can also do phone numbers now um now the phone number strategy on graph search is a little different to the old way uh, and before what you could do is you could just simply type a phone number in but you can't do that anymore on graph search so let me just show you that also awesome. 
Uh, and by the way, that is my number, okay? If you do want to call me, that's absolutely cool, okay? I can, I'll be more than happy to help you out, but you see that's not working, okay? But if you do, uh, you add phone number and then put the number in, okay? And then you do search, not and that's wrong. Uh, what was that string? Uh, I cannot remember that string now. I think it was, actually what it was after I should type it here we go oops phone number or is it mobile number because I cannot remember what that string was now or is it just a number let's see oh hang on it was telephone number That working? Not even that don't work. Well, there is a string for using to search for people on your phone number, which I cannot remember right now because I hardly do that, to be honest. Okay, um, what I do is I use the actual um, the actual email instead. Um, I'm just trying to figure out because I can't remember what that string is, and I've used that string before. Um, if I could find that, that'd be very useful for you guys too, if you want to do that. So. And let me give this a shot one more time, okay? See, that's my number, okay? Uh, and it doesn't work this way. Is it just phone, maybe? No. Let's try that out. Number. Is it just number? Okay, there you go, guys. See? Um, it's basically number and then put a phone number in. So. Uh, that's my one obviously so let me try my wife's one um, in fact that's not a good idea <laughs> uh, I don't want to put my wife's phone number on this but um, if you give this a go guys okay um, just put a number in your graph search and just type a phone number in um, of your prospects in fact let me see if I can find the uh, phone numbers um, right let me go to because I haven't got many phone numbers on that list let me go to MLSP again just quickly um, and just see if I can find somebody on Facebook with their phone number. Just to kind of give an example, okay? Mm, leads, okay. So let's let's try this one, okay? I don't know if it's gonna work, but let's give it a shot. No, that one don't work. I forgot she's got a phone number here. See, normally this would work with cell phone numbers, to be honest, not a landline number which I cannot seem to locate is a cell phone number uh, that might be one okay not having much work too much luck with this right that's definitely a international code so if I put an O in front of that uh, okay not working but basically, you guys, you guys get the idea, okay? And the phone number's a little bit more tricky, more harder to figure out, okay? So use the email instead. But there you go, guys. Now, quick video. Go ahead and share this, like this, comment on this, give me your feedback. Uh, and go ahead and share with your list if you want as well. Um, you have an awesome day. And I will share some more golden nuggets, more information uh, as we go along, okay? Um, keep in touch on Facebook. And I'll see you around. Bye-bye.